Hey guys, welcome back. Let's ask ourselves a question. Do you feel like you don't never have enough to stuff your sinking funds or don't know what to stuff for your sinking funds? If this is one of your issues, guys, you want to stay tuned for this video. Let's go. Some of the questions that I had asked myself before when I first started doing my sinking funds, getting all of this stuff together isn't easy and sometimes it can be overwhelming. And if you don't have a lot of income to work with, then you're going to feel like you're just in a rat race and you're going to feel like it's not worth stuffing savings challenges or sinking funds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much show you guys to most of my sinking funds and savings challenges that I'm actually going to be doing. And I'm going to be showing you guys the amounts that I have in there. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you that not first one to tell you, <laughs> I'm going to be the one to tell you that I don't have a lot in my sinking funds and savings challenges. So what I want you to take away from this video is your budget is not the same as everyone else's budget. So with that being said, you're not going to be able to stuff as much as you see other people stuff. You're going to be able to stuff what you can stuff. I'm going to be able to stuff what Tina can stuff. Because I know sometimes it can kind of get discouraging. But take what you see and just take things from it like tips and pointers. Because there are so many good ideas and points all over the place. Take that, implement that into your budget and use that as like some tips, some guidance, some tools. So take that, you know what I'm saying? Just take that and use that for yourself. But don't beat yourself up if you can't stuff 500, if you can't stuff 1,000. Because I told you guys, sometimes I'll be stuffing like $2, $4. It depends on what I got going on, what I got going on. Okay, so... um. I'm going to go through my sinking funds and hopefully this will probably give you like some ideas of maybe what type of sinking fund envelopes you can use for your sinking funds if you're just starting out. And even if you already have sinking funds, because I know I've seen, you know, videos and I'm like, dang, that's a good idea to start saving for. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through my envelopes. And like I said, I have some money peeking out. Peekaboo. Like I said, I don't. I don't have a lot because I use my sinking funds. It does look good when it stacks up, but I actually use my um I actually use my money for my sinking funds. All right, so first thing I have is for car property taxes and I know some of you guys say like what is car property taxes? In the state of Virginia, we have car property taxes where even after you pay your taxes when you buy a car, you still have to pay property taxes twice a year they split the payment up in half and then that also includes our licensing our, i want to say licensing our license fee too so if that is something that you have in your state doing a car property tax sinking funds probably would be a great idea i used two cards um for this envelope the first one um, I think it was a total of 300 or something. And then this one now is 256.22. So if I do get finished with this savings challenge before the due date of December the 5th, I will go ahead, withdraw this money, put it in a, um, because even if I pay it a little bit earlier, it's not going to give me a discount or anything like that, but I might just go ahead. Cause usually what I do is I get a cashier's check because it takes so long for them to cash my check. I get a cashier's check, make it out, and then I mail it to them. Or I could put this in my HYSA and let it sit. So I will decide pretty much by the time I finish, I have one, two, three, four, five. I got five more cards. So what I did was took the amount and I divided it by um, how many cards there were. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, divided by 18 cards. So I got like a rough estimate of like 14 something so i just rounded it up to 15 dollars. so we already have 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 so we got 195 already in this and i just add increments of 15 dollars. and then if i don't have enough i will do five or i'll do ten dollars it all depends and i'll just make a notation that I didn't fill the whole car up 
and that's how that one works next we have our good old amazon prime um if you do this monthly the prime membership used to be 12.99 but i saved like 40 something dollars by doing it annually so it's like 139 and i think someone said in the comments one time they were saying that it depends on the state that you're in so i'm not sure if that's the case because we're in virginia so it's like 139 so i just pretty much save 140 dollars so when I added up all of the, how many um, prom icons I have, and I divided that by the 140, I got 10.76, well not 10.76, $10.76, so I just rounded it up to $11. Let me get a sip of my coffee super quick. All right, and then one of them I had over four or $5 because I didn't break up the change. So this one here is fully funded. So when this comes out, it's automatically taken out on your Chase card. So when this comes out, I can just pretty much just go ahead, deposit the cash, and I can pretty much just do a debit, well, payment, and do it for the 140. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 45. So I got 145 for that. Remember I told you I said I'm not sure if I had four or $1 in there because sometimes I do extra so this is a good way because I'm not going to get rid of my Amazon Prime I know that is an extra thing but Amazon Prime is very 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 helpful for our family so I'm going to make the uh, sacrifice <laughs> and um, do Amazon Prime now we have brakes and tires and brakes and tires are super expensive and I don't need any brakes or tires um, for a while so I have time to add to this and this is where I say like you just you need to figure out what envelopes you need how long you think it's going to take because I can add to this whenever I can because I'm not in need of brakes and tires but if a tire was to go flat I do have enough in here to actually to buy a tire okay because <laughs> I don't think the brakes is going to just hop up and just be like break up you know what I'm saying so we got 20 40 60 70 so I have 70 dollars in brakes and tires because i know they say if you replace one or two on all wheel drives you need to replace all of them have you guys heard that that's what i've heard all right so now we have oil change and inspections so i'm going to be on the lookout to hopefully they'll send me another five dollar coupon because i did use that this time so i went to the oil change and i think they went up because i was paying 57 dollars for oil change and tire rotation so it was a total of like 70 something dollars and I had a $5 coupon, so the total became $67.91. And I had $89 in here, so I took out $67.91. And so I have $21.09 left over. So all of my change that I have left over, I always put it, um, I roll it over in my coin. Um, I cannot put this stuff back in my envelope. I always put them in my little coin boxes. So these are pretty these are getting pretty full well the nickels aren't the dimes are okay Todas, they're getting heavy so i'm gonna end up I'm gonna put these back up there i'm gonna end up having to do something with those um so that's oil change and inspection okay so car is just regular just car stuff you need car air freshener or whatever whatnot but I did end up moving this to my alpha savings challenge the money that I had I don't know if I'm going to keep this envelope I might go ahead and take this envelope out I'm not sure because I am using this for car savings and we'll talk about that later and then we're going to try to figure out how much I have inside of this here I'm gonna see if I can do it if not <laughs> boo Okay, so nails, I'm back to starting back over because I did get my nails done. I wanted to do like a fallish type color. I like bright colors, but this was, I like the way she did this. It was pretty cute. My nails were, it was time to get them done. All right, so I only have $15 that I have in here. So by the time I get my nails done, I should be um, funded for that. All right, microblading, which I love it. So I've only been doing like $5 here and there because it'll be like a year and some change before I need touch up. So I only have 10, 15, so I only have $20 in there. All right, so next we have clothes. So clothes, I only have 10, 15, but I do have a sweater weather savings challenge. We'll get to that in a second. 
um this right here i'm see my, my my brain is working like my savings challenge i'm working on stack stacking that up to have like a what do you want to say cushion surplus whatever you want to call it so this right here is what i'm working out of so once this is funded my sweater whether i will take that move that to my clothes envelope so that way i can work out of it and keep it keep track of it so I was thinking about that with my beauty envelope that I actually took out. So I think I might put that back in because I do actually like that idea of having that as just like my working on my cushion and then moving it to my working envelope. If that makes sense, you know. So shoes, um, I did get some shoes at Ross because I needed some more work shoes. Um, that was a zero dollars left. They just have like nice shoes you can just like wear to work and you don't have to break the bank. Next is hair stuff. So hair stuff, I have $45, so 20, 30, 40, 45. I left this envelope too, because like when I go, I have to go get my hair treatment condition and then um, trimmed. So I'm gonna keep these as pretty much as my working out of envelopes so that, like I said, I can keep track. All right, so this is gonna be the fun part. So this is my budget and planner supplies. I've noticed that I used to just always be buying planner stuff here and there. So why not make a, ooh, you hear that crow out there? My goodness, a crow or buzzer, one of them. I don't know what the world that was. <laughs> but um, I noticed that I would spend money, a lot of money on like budget and planner supplies. So I ended up doing, making a savings challenge just for that. So I only have $30 left in here. Um, and I am actually, I have an extra $5 bill so I am going to put that in here. This is gonna look crazy. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna mark this five here. What about, what's that? And then I know next time to do a 10. That wasn't in the um, <laughs> in the video. I just looked and I was like, I got an extra five. Okay, so then I only have, where we got 25 left and then I can go ahead and get my 2025 planner stuff. All right, so we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. So I got $95. And if you are planning on getting a huge lump of stuff, you can pretty much just do this, do it again, do it, or even have two of these. That's what I was thinking to have one for whatever shop I want to get, like one for my Amazon, one for um wonderland 22 if i order from or one from hobonichi but i can get my hobonichi from amazon so that will be kind of like in my amazon folder all right so we have that and then next i have my beauty save and this is where i was saying like beauty products where i can just pretty much work out of so this one i um i've been saving just normally and then we have 20 40 60 80 90 95 so we have 95 dollars and see this is where i said i wanted to do like make a cushion this is be, this will be my cushion i'm working on but if i had an envelope to work out of so that i can go you know do money back and forth that would be better it just makes a lot of sense because if i take money out of here then i'll have to figure out to erase this and that's just that's doing too much but if i have it like in a little well, I can do that. Money out or not savings challenge. I crushed it this week. So Saturday will be another $10 and then we're going to be working on Sunday. Um, I have been like the night before I have been packing lunches. It's crazy setting small habits every single night. And I've gotten to the point at first, when I first started, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. But I was like, nope, I said, I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to do what I need to do. So now it's becoming more of, let me just go in here and get this. So it's just my, I got some training in my brain to make sure I pack all of our lunches and I pack me some snacks and I actually pack some healthy snacks. So y'all get, y'all give me a round of applause for that. I've been making my little, um, mandarin oranges, my little almonds and all that other stuff. So that has helped me with not eating out because I brought some bagels and I just get up in the morning. I have a set time that I set my oven to 425 to put the frozen bagels in there. I brought some Philadelphia cream cheese. Same thing. Remember I told you guys I was going to bacon street bagels and it's, it tastes the same. And I do that, put a little bit of butter, spread that on there. It's done in like five to eight minutes. I put it almost 
time when me and Aiden are about to leave. So it will be hot by the time I get to work. Um, and yeah. And I have the little Luna foil, the little separate square Luna foils that I've taken, folded, and wrap it. Yeah. So it's crazy by setting habits. And I do it every night. And I write it in my planner to do it. And I have a checkbox to do that. So we have 20, 40, 50. So hopefully we'll have $70 by the end of the week. Um, and then this money at every end of the week that I do this, I move this over to my Alpha Savings Challenge. And I have to get the cash for my Drink Up Challenge. I have been feeling a lot more better making sure that I drink water every day. So this right here, we just got to do Sunday and we'll see how much we have left for that. All right, next we have Sweater Weather. And this is the one I told you that I'm gonna make a cushion and then once the cushion is done, I'm gonna go ahead and move that to my um, clothes envelope. All right, so this one here is, all right, so this one here, I just have these left to do. Yeah, I, I love these boots. <laughs> I want some of them boots. All right, so we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All right, so we have 160 in that one. And guys, like I said, start small. Just work your way up and say what you can. Don't do too much. <laughs> okay, so and then my date night, I haven't restarted that one. So I still have um, this. Oh my gosh, I have got to, hold on. I have got to restart this back over because I want to just use my scratcher. Doesn't this look just so cute? This is from Black and Blue, Erica. <laughs> This is so awesome. And I just want to just scratch it so bad, but I don't have any cash for it yet. So I'm going to have to, um, I might have to pump my brakes for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get to this. And then my pink cloth bingo bliss, I did move that to my alpha savings challenge. And that is for this challenge. That is just this one. We play this. I haven't played it in a while, so y'all don't get me. I haven't had it. So these are just the cards that come with it. Um, these are not the cards. I mean, don't mix these up. These are the playing cards that we have. And then these are the dice that we have that we play in here. Okay. All right. This thing, it's getting chunky. It doesn't even want to stay closed. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is I'm going to drink some coffee. Is Here is one that I am restarting. This is just a 26 bi-weekly savings challenges. Usually the bi-weekly would be focusing on this week, but y'all know I have to be extra and I always have to add extra to it. So, so you do have week one, three, five, and this, and then you have some extra there, but I've already finished it once. So this is a little bit easier and simpler if you're just pretty much starting out because the, uh, for week one, you put a dollar, week two, you do $2. It's not as complicated as like the bigger challenges. All right, so next thing I have, oh, okay, I have Aiden sinking funds that I am working on too. So like I said, his, I don't have a lot in here because um, like I said, we use them and we have like savings, um, his savings. This represents money that's in his little squirrel account. So we have one, two, three thousand, five, six, seven hundred, ten, twenty, thirty. I don't like to keep that in there because he can get interest for that. And then we have shoes. And then um, that's just 20 bucks. And I am going to start back over. his little shoe challenge. Um, and that way I can do it where I have the extra envelope for the cushion, like I was saying, and then I can just work out of this envelope. So once I finish this shoe goal, I can just move all that back here and I can just restart it. But this one right here, this is just the paper one, but if 
I do have this one. I was thinking about using this one so I can just wipe it off and reuse it. Um, so I am going to put that in there. So I need to make a, um, another shoe challenge envelope. Um, so next we have haircut and it is $40 that's in here. I need to transfer that, some of that, because he did get a haircut. Field trips, we need to add to this because, like I said, school year is starting over. And for the summer, I just didn't do anything with this. But school's back in and they're going to have a field trip because I'm sure they're going to be going to a some type of pumpkin patch. Every school does that. All right, so book fair, we have $10.00. Book fair, I don't know how I'm feeling about the book fair. He wants to go to the book fair. He gets it, looks at it for a second, and then the book is just gone. Just gone. <laughs> so I'm like, do you really want a book out the front from the book fair? Or did you just want to go to Target, see if we can just grab something cool? <laughs> but, I mean, I do like the enthusiasm. So I'll try to kind of do a little bit more with figuring out what book he wants. School pictures, we have $20, $30. And those should be coming up a little bit. Usually the school pictures are like usually like 40 bucks for the whole pack. And I got to make sure I save enough for the yearbook also. Clothes, we don't have any. We just got some. So we got some from Ross. I always can find good deals at Ross, like I always tell you guys. And fun. I don't do anything for fun, but he likes to go to the little golfing place. He's actually really good. So I'm going to have to start adding to this for his little golf thing because it's only like 20 for all of us to golf, it's only like $24. Like three of us to golf is like $24, $25. Next teacher's gift, um, we're doing just $5. And I do have something in mind for his teacher. But I want to get it from, um, my gosh, I can't think of her Instagram. She makes the cutest personalized teacher gifts. I'm sure all of you have seen it. Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. It's like teacher's mask, the, like a composition coffee cup. Oh my gosh, what is her Instagram? Paper clips, staplers. She does phenomenal work. OMG. School supplies, we don't have to worry about that because school is in and he got all of his school supplies and doubles. Oh, and sports. I need to make sure I add to this. We have $20 in here because I want to put him in basketball. He, we have a basketball goal outside, and he's been actually doing pretty, pretty good. I was like, what? And the work, because at first he was kind of like, he didn't want to do it. But I was like, what is going on with this basketball? Pretty good. All right, so next we have, we're just going to do this one, and then that's going to sum it up. So let's, I'm going to try to figure out how much I have in here. This right here, guys, is for car savings. For car these days, um, my car is paid for it. It's good. Um, but you never know. And the way cars are for price wise, it is out of this world. So it's always good to have like a cushion. So this way I can kind of have like a nice little cushion. And once I'm done, I can put this in my HYSA, unstuff it, and then I can and, um, start over because this is reusable. <clears throat> so I am going to use this. To try to figure out i'm gonna sit this up here to try to figure out how much i have in here because this is crazy <laughs> um so this is how much i have done so far for my savings challenge and i am going to i've been doing the low income type so far and then i'm going to go back and i'm going to do the high income but i do have it looks like all of the pockets but some of the pockets i can still put more money in there but i have a slew of cash back here so so this is when i unstuff this this is going to be super fun <laughs> all right because i can't just cat cash i can't just count this back here um and then i don't want to take none of these out so i'm just going to use the um dashboard to figure out what how much i have um and oh yeah and everybody always asks me is it reusable and do you get all of this in the book and yes you get the big pouch you don't get the money but you get the big pouch with this you get all of the pockets here and you get a reusable dashboard and you get a marker and then also check that out um and i think i may have some of the little beads left and you get the beads where you can just pick which one you want 
and you can just put them back in because the it's reusable you have a whole bunch of different denominations if you want to kind of play a game you have a heart in there and pick which one you want okay so let's go ahead let's calculate how much we have so far go ahead and hop into it so we, so we got and i'm not doing this um i'm just going through letters i'm not doing it any specific I was gonna do it, but now I'm like, can't get the numbers. Right. Okay, so if <laughs> hopefully I didn't miss anything, so this should be how much we have so far in here. Um, which is not bad. I just wanted to see. Yeah. So we will keep on trucking and um, and working in our Alpha Save Challenge book. All right, guys. So I think this is about end of my video. Oh, yeah. And I will be restarting up my 54 weeks savings challenge. So this will be restarted back up. I forgot about that. All right, guys. So thank you so much for chilling me through this video. And then like I always say, until next time, guys. Peace.